Good morning, everybody. Uh, so on the last video, if you saw it, you saw that I bent the derailleur on the Kona Rove. And while it is rideable, I'm a little bit afraid that I should fix it before I ride it to work. So I've been riding the Bullet basically as my main commuter for the last week now. And uh, I'm really liking it. I didn't think I would like it this much. But there are things that are on it that facilitate it being a commuter. And so that's what we're going to talk about in this video. It's not necessarily why you should go out and get a bullet, because that's not the point I want to make. Sure, if you want to buy a bullet to commute on, then uh, go for it. But the bullet has certain features that are really nice to have on a commuter bike. So whether you have a commuter bike or you don't, maybe some of these features are some things that you can apply to your commuter bike at home or the bike that you commute on, whether that's a commuter bike or not. It's a little chilly out there today. It's supposed to snow later. But uh, we'll see, 30% chance, I don't know. We'll see how long the GoPro lasts today. It's pretty cold out there. Might have to do most of the recording on the way back for more. So one of the first things I think that you should consider getting for your commuter bike is dynamo lights. You just don't think about them. You never forget your lights and they're ready to go whenever you are. So hop on the bike, start pedaling, and you got lights to be seen on your commute to and from work. On that same note, you have bike mounted locks. So this is an Avis lock, but you can have the traditional ones that mount to the frame and hold your U lock, but just a lock that's ready to go. You're not thinking about where your lock is, it's already on your commuting bike. So you can just go head off and then if you need to lock up throughout the day, you can. It's uh, right there for you. All right, let's get to work. So another thing I think you should consider for a commuter bike is a nice set of bars, like alt bars, not so much drop bars, uh, and a nice saddle. And those go together too. I think having a nice saddle or a nice bar doesn't really do much if you have a huge saddle to bar height. So trying to get them 
evenly lined up so that you have a cozy ride and you're more upright in the commuting position uh, is nice. It's I know hard to give up a speedy drop bar bike like a gravel bike and I love commuting on the gravel bike as well but it's been a joy just to be more upright and uh, yeah, be able to see everything. Sure it's a little slower but it's well worth it. Another thing on the bars recommended highly highly recommended a bell. I think all bikes should have bells. I don't have bells on all my bikes but I probably should uh, being on a trail like this one, you encounter a lot of people that, well, are just walking in the middle of it or on the wrong side of it, so a bell is a nice thing to have. Granted, it won't save you from everything because some people are wearing headphones and they're blasting their music, so they might not hear you, but a bell is a nice thing to have. Or just a polite hello or ding ding while you pass another cyclist. Next thing is a nice set of fenders that are just on your bike. Having fenders, well, some like the look of it, some don't. They will save you, and uh, yeah, a nice set permanently on the bike is good to have. So I commute most of the time on SPDs, so I use the SPD side of this dual pedal, but having a dual pedal just makes the commuter bike so much more versatile especially if you're just going around to the shop, not necessarily commuting to work, but you just want to throw on normal shoes, go to the shop, and uh, yeah, get some groceries and whatnot. Not necessary, but I think really helpful, especially if you don't know your surroundings. Colorado Springs is massive. And uh, a lot of the times, I don't know where I'm going if I'm going to a new place. So it's really good to have one of these phone mounts or any type of phone mount will do. And you just slap your phone on there, take it off. Especially for Google Maps or if you do like to listen to audiobooks, podcasts, whatever, you can switch it on the go without trying to, you know, use your phone while you're riding. Now the reason you haven't seen me use my phone in this video or maybe in a past video uh, is because I'm actually doing a step challenge. Shh. And uh, if you keep it in your pocket, it'll count your steps when you're cycling. So, little trick if you're in a step challenge, just keep your phone in your pocket. And no, it's not cheating, you're being active. It should count towards steps. Oh, and lastly, I know this bike is a cargo bike, so it has a ton of space up front, but on a more practical sense, more people can do this. Just add a basket or some sort of rack at the front or back of your bike, wherever you like it. And yeah, I just feel like if you have the ability to carry even a small set of groceries in your basket or just something extra from the commute, uh, you'll really appreciate it. and. It'll just make the bike more versatile. All right, that is it for the suggestions I have for your commuters. Hopefully you found some tips in this video. And uh, if you know any other tips that you've added to your bike, leave them in the comments below to uh, help other viewers looking to maybe make their bike more commuter friendly. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, remember to stay stoked on spokes. Peace. Instant, baby.